Welcome to Life Fest. Now, you've seen reports recently that India's second ballistic missile nuclear submarine, the Aridaman class, uh, is about to be launched, which is really a big day as far as India's strategic program is concerned. So we thought here at Life Fest that it would be a good idea to give uh, everyone an overview, good to remind ourselves of where things are really at as far as our submarine, our nuclear submarine plan is actually concerned. Uh, and who better to actually talk to us about it than a journalist who's tracked submarines closer and more extensively than anyone else in the country. Sandeep Punitan, who's executive editor with India Today, he's written about the nuclear submarines a great deal. He's actually a journalist who broke the story about the Arihan, has had more access to information about that submarine program than anybody else. Sandeep, thanks for being here on Life Test. We've just drawn up this rough picture, Sandeep, based on many of the, uh, you know, the, the reports that you've done over the years. Can you just take us through this? Is this is this a largely accurate depiction of where things are at as far as our nuclear submarines are concerned? Well, Chief, you've got it all right here. Uh, this is one of the most complicated uh, defense programs, if I may uh, say so, yeah. in, in probably the history of the country. Uh, and it's all entirely, uh, you know, of uh, the Republic case. And you have here the first of the class, the Arihan, which was launched in 2009. Yeah. We were we there, were for there the, together yeah. for the launch, yeah. if you remember. And it, it took nearly seven years for the Arihan to be commissioned just in August last year. And now you have the Ari Daman, which is the second of the class, mm. which is a little more advanced than the Arihan in the sense that it's going to have more missiles, almost double the number of missiles right. that the Arihan had. So the, uh, the Arihan has four, has and this one has two, eight. Yeah, this has eight. And uh, what we're also being told is that the Ari Daman might have a lot more indigenous communities, right? Uh, the Arihan had to rely, because it was the first of its class, it had to rely on a lot of uh, yeah. uh, imported components. Right. The Ari Daman is going be almost uh, entirely indigenous. Yeah. Very large percentage of it. And, and it's also going to be a, it's also going to be a, a bigger class. Yeah, it is more slightly. Uh, we see, uh, again, what I'm hearing is that it's been stretched a bit. Right. right. From a bit more missile. Right. 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 Can you tell us about you know it, it's intriguing, Sandeep, because you've got the Aridaman class, which is the S3. You've got the S4 and the S4 star. What exactly do those designations mean? Do we know what those mean? Uh, well, uh, Shiv. S stands for submarine. Right. So the Arihant is actually S2 because the S1, which would be somewhere here, mm. is the prototype nuclear reactor right. uh, at Kalpakam, which was, uh, I mean, the whole uh, the, the the whole driving force of this uh, submarine is the nuclear reactor. Unless you perfected the nuclear power plant, there was uh, no submarine uh, to speak of. So once they perfected that, then they moved on to the Arihant, which is S2. And now you have the Aridaman, the S3, uh, you have the S4, and the S4 star is an intriguing submarine because this actually comes in between the Arihant class and the S5 class. Now the S5 class is a whole new class of ballistic missile submarines. Hmm. The Arihan class is a much smaller one, it's right. a little over 6,000 tons. But this new S5 class is in the, uh, it's more in the range of the American uh, kind of, uh, you know, right. 12,000 tons. Uh, right. two, uh, so that's going to be beyond these three, that these is, four submarines. Yes, so that's going to be an S5 problem. class. Yeah, okay. the S5 class. Now, okay. both of these kind of got uh, approval many years back. The right. S5 uh, was approved almost a decade ago. Right. Uh, so the S4 star was something that came in between. Uh, it's like a bridge between these two programs. Right. So between this 6,000 ton uh, ballistic missile submarine and a 12,000 ton true blue boom, boomer uh, right. right. Both in Vishakhapatnam also for the induction of the INS Chakra which is the first uh, of the Akula 2 class uh, nuclear attack submarines which are currently in service. Are we getting a second one? Because that's a big question. Well, Shiv, it uh, increasingly looks like that's the case and this has been uh, the subject of many talks between India and Russia, the releasing of a second uh, Akula class submarine. Though I must add that when the second Akula uh, class comes, it will actually be only the first uh, because the first one, the Chakra, will have to go back to Russia right. for refueling. Oh, so we'll still only have one. We'll still only have okay. one. because and, and the reason we have the Akula class is uh, to train a large number of crews to man the Arihan class and also to give us expertise in uh, manning attack submarines. Right. The Akula is a completely different uh, beast as far as the Arihan class is concerned. It's a much faster uh, boat, mm. it's heavier and right. it's got a twin, uh, it's got a much heavier reactor and uh, you know, so it's, it's a more like a training ship, it, uh, a training platform for uh, you know, nuclear uh, submarine crews. Right. And you know, you'd also reported uh, uh, many months ago about uh, this very 
this tantalizing uh, and unknown, at least so far unknown class of uh, fully Indian nuclear attack submarines. That's right. The, the ones we're building right now are the yeah. ballistic missile submarines, which are much more complicated actually. Right. So we've done things in reverse. And now yeah. there's this class of nuclear attack submarines that are in the works now? Yes, a uh, couple of years back, actually this was a plan, this was all supposed to go in together. You were supposed to have nuclear attack submarines and ballistic missile submarines. Right. The two go hand in hand. Right. You know, attack submarines are much more versatile in the sense that they act as escorts for, uh, hunt they call hunter killers because right. they act as escorts for ballistic missile submarines. And and of course, they can perform a lot of tactical missions. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, we're looking at a new class of uh, SSNs, which is uh, over around 6,000 tons of uh, attack boats, as they're called, mm. uh, which are actually going to be escorts for the Arihan class boats. To right. so ensure that you know enemy submarines, yeah. other nuclear submarines, don't come close to the Arihan class. So this is one of the most challenging programs, again, right. a whole new set of uh, you know uh, complications, because you're talking of submarines that are supposed to be really fast and move really quickly, accelerate, dive, uh, you know, stuff that the Aryan doesn't do very easily. Yes. The Aryan is meant to be more like a, a lurker. You know? right. it's, a, it's a very slow moving uh, platform. It's a stealthy platform. Yes. Yes. It's, it's basically a, a floating missile base. Correct. Correct. Whereas uh, SSN is more like a, a race car. You know, it's supposed to go at incredible It's speed. a hunter killer. Yeah. A hunter killer, exactly. Yeah. And so this is posing a new set of, uh, you know, complications for us in terms of design. Mm. And uh, because again, we've never built uh, yeah. uh, many submarines. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What to speak of, uh, you know, nuclear attack submarines. Right. So this is a very, very uh, interesting program. It's not started building yet, it's mm -hmm. still in the design stages, though uh, the uh, Navy is confident that it will have the first submarine in the next six or seven years. Oh, in the six or six or seven years. Yes. That's that's pr pretty good news. So that's you're hearing about that for the first time. The next six to seven years should have the first uh, of this uh, so far unnamed. I think it's so far unnamed uh, right. class of nuclear attack submarines that are being developed completely in India. Final question, Sandeep. Uh, you know, we've seen we see sporadic reports about the weapons, the the strategic weapons that are going yeah. to be deployed on the ballistic missile submarines, uh, the K4, the K15. You're uh, again, once again, right. the journalist who first first ever wrote about them. What's the status currently of the K4, the K15 and any others? Well, uh, as of now, it appears that it's only the K15 that's qualified to, uh, you know, fully qualified to fire from the Arihat. But hmm. it, that doesn't suit the purpose of, right. of its uh, mission, which is a strategic deterrent. Yes. Because yeah. it is, uh, the, the K15, as you know, is just a 750 50 kilometer, kilometer yes. missile. So you're looking at a missile with increased range, which is what the K4 brings on board. It's about 3,500 kilometers. And it's actually Actually, uh, the first in a series of new uh, ballistic missiles yeah. that we're talking about, you have the K4 and you have the K5 after right. that, and we're told that there might be a K6 even. But as of now, the K4 is still in testing stage. It's right. not been fully integrated into the submarine. Uh, the first uh, couple of tests were held. There were two or three tests, all from a pontoon, uh, the submerged yes. uh, uh, you know, pontoon uh, platform that they've uh, been uh, testing it from. And I, I would imagine that in the next uh, couple of months, there would uh, be a full-scale test from Arihan. Right. Uh, thanks so much, Sandeep, for being with us here on Life Fest. And thanks so much for watching.